Okay, so um, so welcome to the first um, virtual York St. John Global Opportunities Fair. Uh, this is a session for Victoria University. So I'll just get that up and running and we'll make a start. Okay, uh, so Victoria University, uh, oh, let me move my chat box out the way so I can actually see. <laughs> uh, it's located in Melbourne in Australia. Um, it was founded in 1916 and it's got 40,000 students. It's a very large university. It's, I think, probably the largest one that we do partner with, actually. Um, so it's a very different um, environment and feel to what we have at York St. John's. So it'd be a really good kind of contrast uh, to, to do that one. Uh, get mine. OK, uh, so the location, as you can see, it's right on the, uh, the southern coast of Australia, right down at the bottom there. Um, it has very hot summers but cooler winters so you've got a real kind of mix of climate there too and um, obviously in good reach really of going to other places around Australia as I'm sure we all know it's a very vast country but um, certainly you're not too far from the likes of uh, Sydney um, and Canberra the capital. So in terms of Melbourne um, it's a really interesting city actually um, it's the capital of the state of Victoria it's regularly voted as the world's most livable city, so that's that's definitely good. And it's in the top three student cities in the world, so you certainly be going to a good location. Apparently it has the world's best coffee, so that might help with any late night assignments you're doing. Uh, it's the street art capital of the world as well, so there's lots of different street art and interesting street art you can see. It's got museums, botanical gardens. Um, for those of you who might be on sports courses or be sporty, it's the home of Melbourne Cricket Ground, which has um, been dubbed Australia's favourite stadium. It's got lots of shops, restaurants, markets, and then just outside you've got, um, oh, I might be saying this wrong, maybe Dan Dandenong Range, Bush and Mountains, uh, which looks very picturesque, so you can go and sort of get that, that countryside feel too, um, with the mountains and the bush. So here's just some pictures of Melbourne so you can see what it's like at night. Obviously examples of the street art and the uh, the yachts there on the harbour. So in terms of who can go and when, um, if you're on a York Business School programme, um, any programme except accounting and finance unfortunately, um, you can go in either semester one or semester two of your second year. If you're doing primary education you can go in semester one of your third year. And if you're doing physical education and sports coaching, you can go in your second year in semester two. So why the University of Victoria? Well, it's got a very diverse and inclusive environment. They have industry leading courses that they offer there. They have really good support services to help you get settled in. Uh, they're in the top 2% of the Times Higher Education World University rankings for the last three years. They're ranked 12th globally for sports science and they've got over 350 industry affiliations um, for sports science too and businesses. Now they've sent through uh, YouTube videos, unfortunately they couldn't join us today. So uh, skip. I'll try and just get that up and running if technology lets me. Just so you can get an idea of what they're about. Oops. 
not replay. <laughs> uh, hopefully you'll agree that looks, um, you know, really quite amazing what they've got to offer. Uh, I'll just wait for my screen to go back to normal. Uh, why is that doing that? Right, we'll just resume the presentation again. Um, so, yeah, um, in terms of the academic perspective, they do something quite different there. They have a block model. Um, so there's lots of different courses you can study at Victoria. Uh, you would get that approved through your um, through your school first before you go, just to make sure that it matches up and that you wouldn't be missing out on anything um, important. But you can get more details on the website and I can give this presentation to you. But just to explain a little bit about the block model, um, there's a, a short video here again that they've sent through. Um, I think it's really quite unique. So hopefully you'll agree and that it looks good. And we'll just get that to play if we can again. Uh, just so you have an idea of what to expect. So as you can see, it's really quite a different way of learning, um, very different to what we do and what you might be used to. Um, but hopefully that would be, you know, a good experience and, and certainly give you a new kind of take on uh, on academic life. So, uh, housing wise, um, you're guaranteed housing with uh, UniLodge, which um, is sort of purpose built student accommodation and very modern, as you can see from one of the pictures there. It's also a short walk to campus and there's more information that can be found on their website. I think Melbourne is um, traditionally quite an expensive city to live in. So, I mean, there are obviously other options, there's Airbnbs and such, but um, it might be worth your while, I think, probably looking at the, the student accommodation and going down that route. Um, and that's kind of it, really, for the, the main part. Let me just uh, stop showing my screen a second. And then we can open this up to any questions. Obviously, it's a bit of a, a kind of whistle stop tour of uh, Victoria, but it just gives you an idea of what it's about, what you can expect whilst you're there. Uh, oh, Bethan saying, is this supposed to be audio? Yes, uh, that's worrying. Could nobody hear anything? <laughs> Hopefully, you've not just seen me. So, um, we can hear you, but we didn't know if there's audio like in the videos. Oh, was it was it not playing? Oh gosh. Okay. Um, I'll put. <laughs> yeah, there was meant to be audio in the videos. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'll put the links to the videos in this um in this chat box. I'll do that now. So then, if you want to look at them in your own time, uh, basically the first one was just talking about kind of the university as a whole. Um, this link here that I've just put on now, that's about the block model. So I don't know if you could sort of pick it up from the visuals, but you study each sort of section at a time so rather than having like lots of things overlapping like you do at the moment where you might have you know certain different assignments all due in one week potentially and um, that's all separated out so it's quite a different way of doing things uh i don't know why i didn't play the audio sorry about that uh uh page can either go semester one or semester two is it possible to go for both semesters um, I'm not sure that it is because I know other places you can go for the full year. Um, so it might well be that with Melbourne, it's um, it's just the one. Um, I can double check that for you though, but I'm pretty pretty sure it is just the one semester. Unfortunately, I'm not sure what the rationale is for that, but um, I can ask a colleague see if she's aware. Uh, just let me make a note. I 
appreciate it's quite long with the accommodation do they like do the university like sort it out for you they tend to it's the same with um with all of the the, the study abroad partners that we've got really in general um they tend to send you the information through and then you can book it through them if you wish and if they've got space um i think usually they do or you can arrange your own so they don't they don't arrange it for you as such, but they do give you the options and I think they can help you find it elsewhere. Uh, usually there's different, you know, different universities sort of take a, a different approach. But with Victoria, I think that they they let they offer you their student accommodation and then it's up to you whether you want it or not. But they would give you the options and then you can apply for that. So much the All same right. as you do. Do you have like others. a rough idea of how much the accommodation is at the university? I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, I think it's more expensive than York, but I can, again, find out um, accommodation costs. Let me just make a note of these and I can get back to you if that's OK, because I'm not sure what the yeah, that'd be great. is. Yeah, um, I don't think there was anything on the website when I was looking through, from what I recall. Uh, but I can email them and ask them for their costings. Yeah. And the uni fees just get transferred, don't they? do yeah so you don't pay any fees to victoria um or if you were considering other options too um you just pay your fees through to us as normal um you get your student loan as normal and we also give a 750 pound bursary so anyone who's not going to a european um country because they get a different grant um you get 750 pounds from us and that's not means tested so you know that might help towards flights and visas and things so it's basically the, the main things, the main costs you've got with any study abroad is your, your flights, your visas, and then the accommodation, obviously, it could vary depending on where you go. Uh, I can see uh, pages type in. Uh, has anybody else got any questions while we're just waiting for this other message to come through? I think it's always very popular, um, just to make you aware, Victoria, probably understandably so. It's our only Australian partner that we have at the moment. We are hoping to expand that. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's a very popular destination. People really love it when they're there, as you can, you can sort of imagine why, really. You've got the, the fact that it's English speaking, so I think people feel quite settled once they're there. They don't have the language barrier necessarily, but also, you know, the amazing things that they, you can do there. Uh, Leah, I'm, I'm going to find out. I think it's probably a no, but I'll double check whether you can go for the full year for business. Um, yeah, I can understand. Obviously, it's a long way to go for a semester and their semesters are slightly different to ours. Um, it's sort of the backwards way around to us. So you, you might well know anyway, but like their summer is our winter and, and vice versa. So um, I think the, the semesters are about February to July ish, I think off the top of my head. And then, um, yeah, the same sort of the other way. So I can double check the time dates for you. Uh, so Paige said, by studying abroad for a semester, will I be expected to do another year at York? Uh, will it make my course longer? No, it doesn't. So your course length is exactly the same. It doesn't add any time. Um, you don't have to do anything extra for being away. Um, you, anything you study whilst you're doing a study abroad experience, it will the, the credits are transferred back to York. Um, so we have a way of converting the marks because it might be slightly different the way it's marked. It might not be like, a, you know, first two, one, um, two, two, like we have here. But that does get transferred back into credits. So it doesn't add anything. Um, with primary ed course, it says online the semester finishes quite late. Will this clash with UK school placements? It shouldn't do, Anna, because um, everything's checked and it's the, the schools that give the permission for who can go and when um, rather than us. So it should just line up um, OK, but I can double check that with our placements team because we're in the same wider team as them and find out for you. Um, so let me just uh, make a note of that. So primary ed um, placement clashes. But no, it shouldn't do because we've had other people going in semester two as well for primary education. Uh, is there a limited number of places uh, or is it a case of being accepted via application? We have At the minute, we have only two places, I believe, so it is quite limited. Um, we always recommend with Victoria that you have a backup option. So if if you really want to go to Victoria, then that's obviously that's great. But put an option two 
just in case you don't get that. Um, I know there's a few of you here today and it might seem quite daunting, but we do base it on a variety of things. So when you apply, um, we look at, you know, what your other options are, if you have other options. I think for all of the courses mentioned, you, you do have other options, which is good. Um, we do a personal, we ask you to do a personal statement and that's marked. So again, that will sort of bump you up a little bit if you can do a, a good one of those. And also, uh, we ask for a minimum of 55% as your average mark across your first semester. So the more, the better you do, um, again, the sort of more it, it kind of bumps you up, if you like. So, um, yeah, it's, it's worth, you know, just trying, trying your best. We can help with anything, any questions you might have. If this is something you've really got your heart set on, then we'll, we'll do our very best to make it a reality for you. Um, are there any other questions at all? Got a few people type in. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, I don't know if anyone else is typing anything now. It's the names have gone off. Um, we'll make this recording available for you. Um, we've yet to find a home for it at the moment. It's probably likely to be on our YouTube channel, um, which is well, it's the Launchpad channel on YouTube, and then we've got a, a Studio Broad playlist on there. So we'll probably be putting all of our presentations on there for today. Um, so you can have a look at those if you want to and obviously get more information. We'll also send through just a short survey at the end of this, um, asking for your opinion on it. It's our first time that we've had to do it virtually. Uh, normally it's in, in FOSS on campus. So it's a very sort of different beast really um, to what we're used to this year. So any feedback you've got, um, good or bad, would be great. And also we'll send a link through to our tutorial um, booking, which is on again on Launchpad. So you can book in with myself or with Jess, my colleague. And that's kind of a, a you have to do that to progress to the application stage, just so we can talk through any specific questions you might have, make you aware of like funding opportunities, all that kind of thing, really. So you, you're fully informed for when you do the application. Uh, okay, if there's uh, no other questions then I'll um, end the recording there, just bear with me.